Hello party people! Today on Computer Tech and More we're going to be taking a second look at the Halo 96 uh, mechanical keyboard. This time we're taking a look at it with baby kangaroo switches. It is their tactile switch so let's open it up, take a quick look at it again, and then we'll do some typing tests and so I can talk about its comparison. So right up on the top when we open the box we are greeted with the Nufi, Nufi, uh, Nufi artwork, uh, the specific character that is associated with this keyboard. And here is the keyboard, well preserved in plastic wrap. And at the bottom, we are greeted with this package and has some extra keycaps so that you can switch the spacebar to white or some alternative keycaps to choose the coloring that you want, as well as examples of the other switches that are available uh, through Nufi's website that you can get this uh, keyboard with and the USB-C cable. And uh, of course, this is uh, fully uh, hot swappable switches. So if you don't like any of the switches that they sell, you can go ahead and swap them out to whichever ones you like the best. So it's versatile in that way. Of course, if you are buying a whole bunch of new switches for it, you are spending a whole lot of extra money to go ahead and replace with switches. So it's best to get switches that you would consider good enough for your purposes for at least a while, you know, a couple years, and then um, change it out, I guess. Uh, same with the keycaps. They are not shine through, but they are double shot PBT. So um, PBT is the kind of the best material to use for keycaps because they don't turn shiny over time, but they are not shine through, which is kind of a disadvantage because it means you're just going to get lighting effects around each key, but not shine through the middle. Alrighty, let's take off a keycap. Oh, there we go. And the baby kangaroos are green switches, but they are, um, I say tactile. So, there they are. It is a five pin style. Come on, focus. Oh, come on, there we go. Five pin, but this keyboard will also work with three pin. So you can choose whichever way you like it the best. Let's take a listen to it. So there should be nice and silent. Let's go ahead and put that back on. Take a quick listen to it. Come on, focus on the keyboard. We'll do more of a listen when we uh, plug it in and do the typing test because that'll be the real differentiator because I already took a look at it again uh, with the baby raccoons linear switches and I kind of really liked the way the layout looked but I didn't like the switches themselves so I got the baby kangaroos. Well let's move on to uh, I guess the typing test I guess. All right let's do the typing test for the Nufi Halo 96 with baby kangaroo switches. You can see my past results, so we're looking for around 50. And I'm going to have the microphone pointed at the keyboard so you get a good feel for what it sounds like. And let's get into it. All right, let's see my result. Wow, 62 words per minute. That is among my better results. I can say that the uh, switches felt pretty good. Um, definitely think I prefer a few others, but uh, definitely liking these tactile switches. Okay, I've got a little in-stream update from my original view. So I figured out that I can indeed change it. You have to go to gaming mode and then you select your color, in this case purple, and then you click on keys. If you wish to change the color, 
So let's say we want to switch it to blue. First you turn it off and then you click it to blue. But let's go back to purple, click, click. It is a different shade of purple. Unfortunately, you can't hit like shift and it's a little bit slow and clunky, but it certainly is effective and it's auto updating on the keyboard, which I know you can't see right now. Uh, let's take an aqua color. Let's do these guys. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe not that one. Uh, backspace. Okay, let's take a green and go up like this. We're just clicking through really quickly. Uh, let's do red. So normally it puts in gaming mode the um, controls as white, but of course you can see me switching it to red. And let's put some orange in there because I like the look of purple and orange together. And let's just go ahead and make that all orange. And that should do it. Let's jump to the keyboard. So this doesn't change much about my original review uh, after we've updated the different keys. You can see that the blending isn't all that great and the illumination is still around the keys, which in my opinion is still not ideal. But at least you can do the e per key illumination that I do prefer as a feature uh, on basically a gaming keyboard. So it doesn't really change my thoughts about the keyboard, but it does mean that my remarks about the software are no longer really a concern. And I think it could be a now excellent choice, assuming you trust them to uh, keep their software safe on their Google Drive. Uh, other than that, let's get back to the original review. Well, I'm going to wrap up this video without a gaming test because I previously tested the Nufi Halo 96 with linear switches for gaming and I honestly don't expect it to be any different uh, in terms of actual gaming for uh, these tactile switches. It'll just change like the overall feel of it, but um, so the response time and everything else will remain the same and the overall critique for the review will uh, basically remain, remain the same. With one of the professional reviewers that I use to help me decide on products, ratings for gaming, it was rated at 8.6, uh, office work 7.6, programming 8.0, um, build quality was rated 8.5 with PBT double shot keycaps like we talked about before. Uh, the only problem with them are they aren't they aren't shine through, which we did mention before. The ergonomics are a little bit lower, meaning it doesn't have as much versatility in how it's in how it stands. But overall, I think it's okay, especially when it's more or less flat. Hardware customizability, can I talk? Is rated at 8.9, so it's quite good because all the you can replace the keycaps and replace the switches with either three pin or five pin. The backlighting is rated at 10.0, although the backlight clarity is rated at four because of the lack of shine through keycaps. Wirelessness, what else do we got on here? Uh, keystroke typing quality is rated at 8.5, but that was for the baby raccoon linear switches. Typing noise is rated at 8.5. Again, that was for the baby raccoons. I think I found it about equivalent, so I'd call that exactly the same. The latency is rated at 8.0. And that's at 6.2 milliseconds, receiver is 11.7. So if you're gonna be gaming on it, you're gonna to wanna to use it wired. But overall, that's still a very good result there. Uh, certainly good for casual gamers such as myself. If you're looking to go pro, then you probably want a faster one. Um, the software is fine, although it doesn't look like it's been updated, so I still can't do individual uh, switches very well, which is kind of unfortunate, kind of, leads to the problem with this brand where that basically that software not working or indicating it works as advertised. And then of course, just for comparison against the drop shift, it's a wee bit smaller, maybe a, a quarter inch, uh, like a quarter inch small. You can see it at the top of the screen. So like, honestly, the keys are visually more appealing because you know the white the black it's got more color to it 
But in terms of usability, uh, I prefer just the shine through keycaps than, than this style. Uh, that's a personal preference. You could replace them, but then the software becomes the problem where it can't quite create the layout that I would want in particular right now. But the software should be updated, but you can't buy a product based on should, because coulda, shoulda, woulda, and it leaves no guarantee. So where does that leave me with this keyboard? I think that the typing quality is quite nice. The sound is better than the drop shift. My main issue is with software and having like this visual. So the, the orange and the black, sort of this color helps separate this number pad area that uh, mm -hmm. a lot of other keyboards that are this kind of cramped style. So the drop shift has a little bit of space here. So this cramped style without this like extra flare of color here really makes the number pad kind of blend in and kind of, in my opinion, harder to use. So this little bit of flare actually helps boost this keyboard up as compared to others in this slightly more, even more compact 96 uh, percent keyboard style. So would I recommend it? Actually, yes, I, th I think I would uh, really like it if I was looking for another 96% uh, keyboard. Um, has all the great features. The only problem is the software, which is the only reason I'd hesitate on it. Uh, but other than that, um, well, I hope you like this review. If you got questions about the keyboard, I will attempt to answer them. Um, if you have other products you want me to take a look at, other keyboards that may be of interest, I can, well, do my testing on it. I'm not quite as thorough as uh, the big, big names in the industry, but I can do my little thing. Um, check out my Patreon page. Hope to see you next time here on Computer Tech and More, and have a great day.